Bianca. I'm Lila, her beautiful mother. <laughs> Sri Lankan traditional sweets and dessert that you must try during your stay here in Sri Lanka. Some of them are part of the festive. <laughs> okay, some of these guys are part of the festive Sinhal and Tamil New Year and prepare for some special occasion here in Sri Lanka. So this is. Ask me guys, ask me. Guys, I cannot pronounce correctly. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I will try my best to pronounce properly. Okay, so, this is ask me guys. It's like spring poppers, but it's crunchy. Okay, ask me. And this is cookies, guys. Yeah, cookies. It's deep fried. Um, Rice flour and coconut milk. It's crispy, guys. Crispy. It's my favorite, and my daughter and my husband favorite. In short, it's all our favorite. <laughs> okay. And this is Sri Lankan dessert, guys. Watalapan. What? Watalapan. I cannot pronounce, guys. It's, it's made from jaggery, eggs, milk, and spices. I think it has cardamom. And this is guys, we have like this also in the Philippines, Dodol. Yeah, it's look. It's dark and sticky, guys. Yeah, dark and sticky. It's hot. It's made from kipun, jaggery, coconut milk, and rice flour. May cardamom din siya. Salap siya. We have also like this in the Philippines, Dodol. Okay. And this is... It's konde kabum guys, konde kabum and or oil cake is made from rice flour. I like it guys. I like also. You like also? This is undual or paniwalalu. It's made from undudal and rice flour guys. I like it as well. Also I like, I like to eat that. Oh, oh. And, and this is moody guys. Mm. It's like agala. And I like this one, guys. Talabola. Talabola. I cannot pronounce properly. It says a this. You eat that. And this is Uldong Dosi. Uldosi. I cannot pronounce. Yeah, Uldosi. Okay. And this is Alua, guys. Alua. 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 And this is Saududan, guys. Saududan. So let's eat, guys. And of course, it's not complete without the tea. Yeah. Ang pasa ng inuubi nila dito, guys, is tea. Kulang nila tungo bibi na tea din. Kung lang para sa mga. Okay. Let's eat. So, how I adjust here in Sri Lanka? Adjustment, hindi masyado. Siyempre, alam naman natin, we are Filipino or Filipina. Kahit saan tayo isabak, palaban tayo. Madali lang sa atin makisama. Madali lang din tayo matuto. So, una naging problem ko talaga is yung uh, language barrier. So, Mostly kasi kamag-anak ng asawa ko, hindi sila mag-anak English. So, 
translator ko nung nandito pa yung asawa ko, siya. Tapos nung umalis siya, kutang Qatar, yung ano ko na yung nagtatranslate. Siya rin translator ko. So, talagang since that, naging priority ko ang matuto mag-isimula. Ay, matuto magsalita ng simula. So, I won't let the day end na wala akong natutunan ng Sinhala word. Kahit isa lang, it doesn't matter. Sa dalawa, at least, end of the day, may alam akong Sinhala word. Kasi, para sa akin yun yung... Kasi since wala yung asawa ko, di ba? So, kami lang yung anak ko yung nagbibiyahe araw-araw. Ako lang yung nakakausap nila dito sa bahay kung pumupunta yung makamanganak ng asawa ko. So, para so para makapag-communicate ako sa kanila masabi ko yung mga gusto ko sabihin ganyan so I really want to learn si Bella so I will be able to communicate with them especially with my husband uh, family and relatives at sa araw-araw namin pagbibiyahin na ito na okay. then sa transportation naman guys in few months sinaral ko rin na siya magbas kasi when my husband was here he's the one who was sending and pick pick up Shana from her school but since he worked at Qatar, I have no, no choice but to send her and pick her before we're using pick me, so it's quite expensive, I spend around 8,000 to 10,000 a month, so uh, so I decided to learn how to ride in the park so, inaral ko siya mag-bus, guys, para makatipit kami. So, dati, 8 to 10K na budget ko, naging 2 na lang ang bus. So, nakikipit na tipid namin mag -ina. What would you like to say? So, sa food guys, hindi ako masyadong nag-adjust kasi since nung nasa Dubai kami, kumakain talaga kami mag-asawa ng Sri Lankan food. And sa, sa Pinas, mahilig din kami ng spicy. We use turmeric and chili powder as well. Okay, kayo makain ng hindi spicy. So, so, sa food, wala akong problema. Actually, I learned when my husband was here, I used to cook sila ka <laughs> Tapos karamihan na uh, problem. Hmm, problem. <laughs> uh, most problem na na-encounter ng mga kabayan natin dito is dirt in dust. So, mas swerte ka kung mabait yung kasawa mo, mabait yung in dust mo. So, in my case, guys, my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law, wala akong masabi. They are really nice to me. They treat me and respect me as their own daughter and own sister. So, of course, like, like any other family naman, there's no perfect, diba? Even in our own family, nakakanta po natin yung nanay natin, yung tatay natin, yung mga kapatid natin. So, of course, walang perfect, diba? So, dito din, may mga misunderstanding, arguments, but you want to eat now? Yes, of course. So, okay, later. So, may mga misunderstanding din, arguments, and then, so, lahat naman na pag-uusapan at naaayos. Sino yung mahal na ba? Bye. Bye.